Hello everybody, welcome to the KDW7 channel. Um, right here we're going to talk about <clears throat> this telescope. And um, I'm sorry guys, I know I haven't been putting um, as many um, YouTube videos as I wanted to. You know, I've been busy with my family, <laughs> take care of my family and stuff like that, you know. I do work. But um, I want to say thanks to that one subscriber I have, you know. If anybody else want to subscribe to my channel, please hit the like button or subscribe to it. Thank you. But let's do this review on this telescope. This telescope right here is called, it doesn't really have a name. It just has, it has a number. But it's called the 760 700 Telescope. Now I said it wrong. 76 700 Telescope. And the focus here of this telescope is 700 millimeters. I don't know if you can see the focus link. The diameter is 76 millimeters. Diameter of the lenses of the mirror. <clears throat> this right here is the focuser. Use this to focus on a specific target, like a planet or star. You focus with this. This right here is the viewfinder. And this right here is the lid cap that goes on to stick to the mirror. As you see in the back right there, there's my primary mirror. Right here is my secondary mirror on the spider. Here, right here. Alright. Now, I'm going to talk about some of the things that I don't like about this telescope. And some of the things I actually do like about this telescope. And one of the things I really don't like about this telescope is this. The slow motion control arm. Now, they have a lock right here. You're supposed to use this to lock the state, to lock it up. <clears throat> to make sure it don't, doesn't move on you. But actually, when you lock it up, turn it like this. When you lock it up, there's a little play. And I found out by um, <clears throat> tightening these little screws on the side, <clears throat> it kind of it kind of fixes it. fixes the problem slightly. It's a little less play. And another thing I don't like, it's not something doing with this telescope. It's with most telescopes, uh, some of the viewfinders. This right here is a, it's a telescope in itself, right here, a viewfinder with a crosshair in it. Now, I don't like using this thing right here because it's very hard to get this thing to line up the way you want it to, to go, you know, so you can view stuff in here and the same as in here, in your viewfinder. So, i trying to um, invest to get me a red dot finder and put on this telescope. Now, some of the things I do like about this telescope, and um, this might be a little controversial. This telescope diameter is 76 millimeters. Now, that's, the, that's how big the mirror is. I mean, everybody say the bigger the mirror, the better the, the, focus, the focal length, or the better the image quality would be. Now, I have a telescope. It has 1,000 millimeters of focal length that I just bought. I'm going to do a review on that too. And this telescope has better image quality, more sharper pictures than my big 1,000 millimeter telescope has, reflector. Um, so, this telescope is a very nice telescope. It was cheap. I mean, I only paid like about 30, 30, $39 for this telescope. It's pretty cheap. They are some cheaper than that for this this kind of, this brand. Um, and um, another thing that I do like about this telescope is that it comes with its own stand. You know, that's a stand, and um, it's very easy to use. It's something like um, a Dasonian, but it's not a Dasonian. I forgot the, name, the the true name of this. This thing is on it's up, over, left, right, up, and down. That action is pretty good for me. The, um, the newer telescope I have is on a, a German equatorial mount. And um, the solar motion control is good on it, you know, but this right here is right to the part. And when I want to get it out there and print it right to where I want it to go. The um, equatorial mount, you have to work with it some to get exactly where you want it to go. But when you get the equatorial mount where you want it to go, the slow motion controls kick in and it shows. Keep the target in your sights. Um, but this is a nice telescope. Uh, everybody giving it a bad review. And I bought this used on Amazon. 
As you can see, I have a couple of scuff marks and scratches on it. But this telescope works perfectly. You know, you have to keep this um, this telescope constantly. I have to like I be I keep it in my car, so I have to constantly. You know, I have to constantly keep straightening and um and calibrating the the secondary mirror. Because it's, it's loose back there. I, I, I tightened it up some, but it's right now. It's, it's, it's good right now. It's, um, it's, it's collimated. I don't have a laser collimator right now. But I'm doing it by hand and by sight. <clears throat> Alright. So, that's all I got to say about this telescope. This telescope is a pretty good telescope. I, mean, I reviewed it. I mean, I've seen all the planets with this. I've seen, um, I've seen Jupiter and all four moons. I've seen Saturn. I've seen... Um, Venus with this telescope. Um, actually, I see Jupiter, but pretty, pretty good details around Jupiter. You can actually see, you know, pretty good details of Jupiter, but not exactly like the red eye. You know, you don't see that. You see like the little lines of Jupiter and stuff like that. But um, overall, it's a pretty good telescope. Um, it's a great telescope, I think, in my in my opinion. But this is a review on this telescope. The 76700. So, um, thank y'all for watching. And I will do a second video showing my other telescope I have. The new one I have. In a minute. Thank you.